there's a serial rapist in Houston. There's nothing funny about serial rape, but what is noteworthy about this particular rapist <laughs> is that all of his victims have been men. Enjoy your evening. So a man raping another man is met with ovations. That's funny. I can't believe you clapped about that. It's a man raping men in Houston. It's, like, like seven men have already come forward in the Houston area and reported this motherfucker, which, which means he must have raped thousands. That's a tough phone call for us to make. See, this is funny, man. They think it's funny, I think it's funny. Because it's true. But the fact that it's true is really, really bad. And it's also quite sad that people are only really going to listen to something like this when it's in the comedy format. It's not like when you get raped, ladies. There's no... Uh, society don't give a fuck about male rape. Basically, nobody gives a fuck about men. This is no hotline for us. <laughs> men get raped, you just gotta get up and walk that shit off. Up. Oh, got raped. Yeah. <laughs> Caught me slipping. <laughs> you gotta take that shit to the grave. Hey, this is the extreme end of the social and biological programming for males. Now you cut your knee on the ground, you little boy. You know, boys don't cry. You got to be a man, you know you get raped. Ah, it's got to tough that shit out, bro. Just fucking harden up, man. Couldn't even tell my wife some shit like that. Come home, all disheveled and shit. Hey, where have you been? It's three o'clock in the morning. Out fucking another woman. Just go back to sleep, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think what Chappelle's trying to say in a very funny way is that, you know, when you're a man, your identity is based off your status, um, competition with other males, power, strength, wealth, all those kinds of things. And if you're so weak that another man is able to overpower you enough to rape you, that just lowers you <laughs> down the totem pole, down the social hierarchy. So the way it works in the mind of men is to preserve my social status, my place in the social hierarchy, my ego, my sexual marketplace value. You know, I, I need to stay strong. Pretend that I, I'm strong. You know, don't go to the police. Pretend to never have to <laughs> sweep it on the rug. It's your typical coping strategy for men with a lot of this stuff. And it's really, uh, when you think about it, it's not logical, is it? It's not logical. I guess really, it's a bit sad. It's a bit of a tragedy. And a tragedy is so often a source of comedy. I think that's why this is funny.